All right. Uh, kind of to on a totally different uh, train of thought here. Any advice about the charismatic movement, such as Bethel Church, uh, Jesus Culture? Are they to be considered brothers and sisters in Christ? I'm sure that there are some people within those movements that are genuine Christians and just really confused. And if they are, God will bring them out. I do not affirm in any way any of those groups. Just remember this. God has... There's so many things that we could talk about with regard to this and we don't have time, but... God has a plan for Christianity. And it's a plan that works itself out through biblical local churches. Not through big movements and things like that, but biblical local churches. And when I mean biblical, the Bible is being taught in its historical grammatical context. Membership is guarded. Church discipline is practiced. There are so many things that these movements don't have. But above all, it's just some really bad doctrine. Really bad doctrine. You're going to see more and more, you're going to see um, not so much universalism, but inclusivism that's going to sweep evangelicalism. It already is, which states that it doesn't matter if you have faith in Christ, just faith in something, and you're saved. You're going to see that grow. It's growing tremendously in evangelicalism. You're going to see the acceptance of homosexuality overwhelming accepted by the majority of evangelicals. You're going to see all sorts of things happen in what's called the evangelical community. And that's why I say the word means nothing. The word means absolutely nothing anymore. And so, no, I, I can't affirm those movements. Um, for, I guess, additional resources, if you're interested in more of that, the, um, John MacArthur did the Strange Fire Conference uh, last year or the year before. I think all the resources are up there. Also, Ministry of Justin, Justin Peters. Peters, yes. Uh, he was actually out in Australia last year doing a conference. Um, but if you're interested in kind of more about the... We just had all his CDs so. translated into Spanish with subtitles. If you could get Justin Peters' CDs and go over them, uh, I mean, I, I teach, you know, I, it's my life to teach theology and, and do things. And when I went through th those CDs, I, I could not believe it. I, I didn't even have an idea of how horrible these faith teachers and prosperity teachers and the things that they do and the things that they teach is just, it's beyond horrible. And uh, he has it right there in his CDs. He has actual video footage of them and their teaching. And then he takes the Bible and explains where it's wrong. And uh, very dangerous. Yep. All right, this is kind of a bit more of a practical uh, question and obviously asking for some advice. So can you offer some advice? The churches in our area are all antinomian. We have attended our current church for 20 years and have therefore built relationships. Do we stay and try?